welcome back to the breakdown today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to start a skyblock server in Minecraft now here's the deal this is a part of my bigger series how to start a network Minecraft server and if you're interested in doing that you can check out all of those videos linked in the description down below also linked in the description down below actually the first link in the description down below is our sponsor which is apex Minecraft hosting go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex network to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected server that you can hook into your network you can actually host your entire Minecraft network over there, and it is absolutely incredible. DDoS protected servers, great hardware, and just an overall great experience. We actually host our network server over there, play.breakdowncraft.com, so be sure to check out Apex, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex Network, first link down below. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Skyblock started and set up, right? We're going to be doing this locally, by the way. We're not going to be doing it on a network server, but some notes here. You will need a bucket or spigot server for this to work. I have tutorials on how to do that at the eye at the top of the screen in addition to the fact that it's linked in the description down below so you want to make sure you get your bucket or spigot server set up before doing this after you've done that there are two plugins you need to download a skyblock and vault that'll get you started there are many 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 more plugins that you can use with skyblock to make it very very good here's an example we are currently setting up skyblock for our network minecraft server and uh, this is what the plugins folder looks like yeah all of those folders and if you want to see how many raw plugins that is there you go right that's the ones that we're all using for our skyblock server some of these might not make it into release but at least we're testing all of those the thing is you might need different plugins right but i'm gonna give you the recommended additional plugins for skyblock in the description down below so if you want to go down there and check that out and get those on your server you can do that however for this we're just setting up skyblock and showing you the basics of that plugin. So, first off, you need Vault. Vault is required to run Skyblock. So, you need Skyblock and you need Vault, and that's about it. So, let's go ahead and download the latest file for Vault as well as the latest file for Skyblock, right? Now, we'll have to keep both of these because they're jar files, but we know that jar files are safe as long as they're from safe sources like Spigot MC and ones that have been downloaded 199,000 times and over a million times for, uh, for, for Vault here, really, 5.7 million is insane. But nevertheless, go ahead and minimize our browser. We got both of these on your desktop. If they are on your desktop, they're probably in your downloads folder. Let's go ahead and hit the uh, Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in downloads, and these plugins will most likely be here in your downloads folder. You can drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, I'm going to go ahead and run our Spigot server for the first time. This is a 1.12.2 Spigot server. Currently, a Skyblock doesn't work for anything but 1.12.2. If you want a 1.13 Skyblock server, you Skyblock is probably going to be your best bet, and you can check that out. Also linked in the description down below as your 1.13 Skyblock alternative. However, B Skyblock, right, which is made by the same developer as A Skyblock, will update to 1.13 soon, and when that happens, you could use that instead of this one. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and agree to our ULA as we always have to do here. ULA equals true. Save, and then let's go ahead and run the server yet again. Boom, just like that. And now it's going to generate everything. Now installing these plugins is pretty simple. Like installing any other plugin, we'll just drag them, drop them into our plugins file here. As soon as our server started up, we'll immediately stop it, run it again, and then we can really get into the config files of a Skyblock and uh, kind of show you what's up. My goal here is to give you a much of an understanding of this plugin as I can. However, I'm not going to be able to cover everything, right? There is so much stuff in a Skyblock that I wouldn't even be able to really scratch the surface in an even 10, 15 minute video. So nevertheless, stopped it. We're going to run the Spigot server one more time and I'll meet you when we finally get our A Skyblock and Vault, but really just a Skyblock config file. So there we go. Everything's set up and done for the first run and we do have a Skyblock and all the config files that come along with it here. So let's just go ahead, stop the server and we can dig into these. Now, one of the things that I want to mention right up front, everybody wonders, how do you add an island? How do you change this? stock island in skyblock what do you do well it's pretty simple you add a new schematic and your stock island here is actually the island dot schematic right there so basically what you would do is go save a new schematic with world edit and then import that into here and change it to island dot schematic if you wanted it to replace the stock island you can also change that in other ways and in the config file here if we go ahead and edit the config with notepad plus plus now by the way here's the deal you will need some sort of a text editor and i would recommend notepad plus plus that's linked in the description down below as well it's 100 free it's the one that i use and i'm using here so yeah but once you're in here you can kind of see everything right it's all outlined and one of the best things about this is it's all notated 
every single thing. I don't think there is a single thing in, in here. Even where it just says companion, it has it notated. All of it is, no, every single bit of it is notated. Absolutely incredible. I love that. But what are some of the key things you're going to want to look for in this config file? Well, first and foremost is island. These are basically all of your island related settings. Everything from the distance and how big the island is to the protection range to, you know, I mean the sea level, everything can be changed in here and set. And then you can actually come in here and this is very interesting. Right here are all the different chest items, right? That you can add in, right? So you can do two ice, two melon. You can add in any other items you want into the starting chest. You can change the command companion. So let's go ahead and change that to a wolf. You can actually change what the companion's called. And you can do player name cow, or we can do player name wolf. And that's what we'll do. And just delete these other two, because guess what? I want to show you guys that in fact, all these config changes are working. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, min name length, maximum name length. How long can the name of the island be? That can be set there. Fly time outside the island. Zero basically means that they can't fly outside of their island, right? But if you set it to like 30 seconds, they can fly for 30 seconds outside of their island, right? And to do that, they'll need the A Skyblock Island fly permission, right? So if someone has like slash fly and can just fly all the time, that's not going to affect them. But if you set it up to where people can fly in their island using island fly, the Skyblock permission there, guess what? That is what's going to be affected there. And the reason I know that is because it's notated, guys. It's all flipping notated and it's amazing whether enderman grieving is allowed whether it's not allowed whether enderman death drops are allowed whether a skyblock's world name is called a skyblock you can change that that is insane and these are all the general settings that we're in now the max islands which basically means the amount of time someone can reset their island the use control panel right if you want to have the control panel or not at island cp we're actually going to go ahead and change that to true just because i think that's pretty cool whether you want a skyblock to use like create the nether and do all that whether you want it to do new nethers and reset oh, just, all sorts of stuff is covered in here. Literally, I don't have time to go over everything. But uh, one of the interesting things is actually down here at the bottom. And so this is schematics. And this is where you can set up what you want different things to be and what schematics are actually going to be, right? Now, any schematics you add into the A Skyblock schematic folder, which is actually found right here, A Skyblock, right? So plugins, A Skyblock, schematics right here can be defined here and you just basically give them a name of some sort here and then from there you can define the file name as what schematic it is so as you can see island.schematic is in fact the uh, default schematic and it's over here island schematic it's the one that everybody gets the original you can change what it's called and we'll call this the breakdown because why not we're just changing everything, guys, because I want, you know, want to show you that you can do this. You can change like the description, whether it's challenging, easy, whatever it is. It can be changed and edited here. We'll actually change this to uh, gold block as well, because why not? So as you can see, everything can be changed. We've got extra hard down here, and that one is actually harder.schematic. And we can come in over here to our schematic folder, and there it is, harder.schematic. Now, if you want to change any of these schematic folders, again, just drag and drop yourself a new island.schematic in there, and that will become your new stock default island. Or you can come in here and change the file name of like island default, right? Right up here, right? So you can change that from island.schematic to like island new dot schematic but yeah that's basically that and there are tons of other config files here if you go back each one of these files should at least be looked at right some of them won't basically be anything like islands here really and truly nothing you can really change about that i don't see really anything that we need to change there i honestly don't even know what this one does but there's the github resource link down below that will show you everything that you could change in islands.yml but i've never had to do anything in there so because of that, it's not really relevant to me. What might be relevant to you is things like warps, right? So you can come in here and set any warps and things like that that need to be changed. So all of it is awesome. All of it can be outlined. But let's go ahead and start our server and see our changes that we made in action. So if we go all the way back here. There we go. And run the server. We will, in fact, be able to see all of the changes we made 
in game. By the way, if you're looking for an awesome Skyblock server, why not just come play on ours? Play.breakdowncraft.com. It is linked in the description down below. All that stuff is down there. It's also the top comment down below is about play.breakdowncraft.com and our awesome Skyblock server. So yeah, awesome stuff there. But we are now loaded up and let's join it on in. Oh, we are using 1.12.2. My bad, give me a second. There we go. Reloading Minecraft this time in the correct version, 1.12.2 there. But at this point, we'll finally be able to join our server and be like see all the changes that we made so if we jump into multiplayer here direct connect into my ipv4 just because that's where my server is hosted hosted locally we can uh, do slash is and it will open up our island here and this should be called the breakdown as you can see it is click on the breakdown it takes us to our island which we didn't change anything about the schematic so that's fine but we did change what the pet was and it was a wolf and now it is nick's games wolf so yeah, pretty awesome stuff. Pretty easy to set up, really. And now, at this point, we're not going to be able to do much, right? So, for example, if we wanted to do anything like that required a permission, slash island fly, maybe? Is that what the command is? Or even slash fly, we don't have the command or permissions to do anything like that. And to do that, we can op ourselves or set up a permissions plugin like Luck Perms, which we'll be outlining in the future. So be sure to subscribe to the channel for that. But, nevertheless, guys, this has been how to set up Skyblock and how to get Skyblock on your Minecraft server. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. My name is Nick, and I am out, guys. Peace.